C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Above the azure sky, heaven and earth were gathering. Almost a hundred years old prodigies had gathered at the archaic divine mountains, forming a magnificent array. The purple dot dressed woman moved swiftly, her snow dot white face was like a cloud covering the moon, making it hard for people to see her clearly. She casually formed hand seals with her slender, jade dot like fingers. Colorful lights flashed in her eyes, as if she was intoxicating wine. Eldest senior sister, master ordered me to call you back to the palace. The person was wearing a pink dress and was lying on the ground. Her tone was soft and charming to the bone, and her face was filled with an amorous feeling. Please help me report back to master. I will return shortly. Zi Ling did not turn around and a trace of light flashed in her eyes as she stared forward. The godly Martin that appeared once every few hundred years was right in front of her, how could she leave so easily? Moreover, Master was about to reach the end of her lifespan, so she was lacking the blood of the godly Martin to extend her lifespan, the fragrant wind billowed into her nose. Zi Ling's eyebrows creased slightly. The hand sign in her hand rotated, and the pink figure that was trying to block her fell to the ground with a pa sound. Io. The woman in the pink dress fell to the ground, crying out in pain. Get up, pink. I know how much I need to do. Zi Ling faintly said, but her gaze still did not fall on the pink zither. Dut a trace of hatred quickly flashed through Ping Chin's eyes. When she raised her head, it was already perfectly concealed. Eldest senior sister, master's time is up. I order you to return to the palace as soon as possible. Zi Ling turned her head abruptly, what did you say? Her master treated her like a father or mother. The only reason why she had lingered in the primordial divine mountain for a year and even abandoned all cultivation was to find her master a divine medicine that could prolong her life, after she finished speaking, before the Guqin could reply, that beautiful figure who was like a phantom figure had already disappeared from the silent divine mountain. She slowly stood up from the ground and looked in the direction of where the purple ribbon disappeared. The corner of her mouth slowly formed into a strange smile, Mystic Mist Sect, Great Precipice Palace, an old man with a crane hairstyle and chicken skin was sitting in the middle of the Great Hall, staring at the vast azure sky through the scarlet door with a pair of deep and unfathomable eyes. Master The purple shadow shot into the Great Precipice Palace like a meteor. When it saw the figure in the middle, its nervous expression eased up slightly. Master, I'm back. MN, spiritual master Zi Xiao suppressed his unstable aura and responded. He didn't look at Zi Ling again as he slowly stood up and said, follow this sovereign. Climbing the stairs, the white jade paving of the ladder hung in the clear stream peak, the sun shone down, shining brilliantly. In the mystic mist sect, Zi Ling was extremely familiar with this place, Master. Ahead of them was the forbidden area of the Mystic Mist sect. Whoever entered this place would die, and there had been people who tried to barge in but failed to do so in the end. No need for words, follow me. Her master's words had dispelled all her misgivings and convinced her to keep up, the back of the figure slowly moved forward like a stooped old man. He still remembered how, a hundred years ago, she had suddenly appeared in front of him like an immortal descending to the mortal world. She had looked so charming and intimate, the staircase rose to the peak as the two of them entered clear stream peak one after the other. Zi Xiao stood at the edge of the cliff and looked back. His Daoist robe was flapping vigorously as he said, You, go in. Yes, master. Zi Ling did not hesitate to walk forward against the astral winds. When she was rescued by Master in the wasteland, she had chosen to trust and rely on him. Stepping more than ten steps forward, she slightly furrowed her brows. Being slightly involved with formations, she quickly discovered that the spiritual energy fluctuations in this area were not normal. As if confirming what she had felt, in an instant, a few rays of light flashed behind her and sealed off her escape route. Hee <laughs> hee, senior sister, I didn't think that a smart person like you would have such a stupid day. Gracefully, she walked out from her hiding place. 
Her eyebrows were raised and she gave off a seductive vibe. The person who came was her junior sister, Jiao Qin. Shut up. Spiritual master Zixiao showed his might without getting angry, and only then did he slightly restrain his zither, the pink zither schadenfreude didn't affect Zi Ling in the slightest. Ever since she noticed that something was amiss, her eyes hadn't left Zi Xiao. Master. She hoped that everything was just an illusion, but the pressure from her soul seemed to have heavily slapped her. Zi Xiao's cloudy eyes revealed indifference. He said, a hundred years ago, this noble one was training in the wasteland in search of a chance to ascend, but you. This is the opportunity that this sovereign is looking for. Zi Ling's face was as white as snow. She silently endured the pressure of the array formation without showing the slightest hint of pain, because I have heaven's spiritual roots, so I'm the best target to possess. Zi Xiao hadn't replied yet, but the Guqin coldly snorted, her tone no longer concealing her disgust, of course. Otherwise, why would Master let your niece get close to you? Naturally, it's because I want you to willingly walk in here and better integrate with your body. Zi Ling's eyes darkened and she mockingly said, Zi Ling thought that her master treated me like a daughter and her master treated me like a mother. However, the path of cultivation is lacking in affection, and you and I don't have any flesh and blood feelings. The always proud Zi Ling revealed such an expression. She felt extremely satisfied. She was also talented, and had an unparalleled complexion. However, everything was overshadowed by Zi Ling. Without the purple silk, she would be the number one female cultivator in Xianhuang from now on. The more pain Zi Ling suffered, the more miserable her fate would be. It was only then that the anger that had been weighing on her heart for the past hundred years would dissipate. To her disappointment, Zi Ling's dejection only lasted for a short moment before her pair of sparkling eyes lit up once again. If that's the case, then our master and I will meet an end. Zi Ling's voice did not carry any emotion. Following which, a huge pressure that belonged to the nascent soul stage spread outwards, charging towards the eye of the formation. Zi Xiao looked at the disciple he was most satisfied with. If it wasn't for his impending doom, he really wouldn't be willing to have such a good seed. All of your abilities were bestowed to you by your true self. You still won't be able to escape from this formation. If you don't obediently allow me to merge with you, I'll send your soul back into reincarnation. The whisk rose up, and the spell formation began to shine brightly. It's like being pressed down by a mountain. The sudden tearing force caused her every inch of her skin to be in extreme pain. Pooh! Bright red blood spurted out from his mouth as his body flew out like a broken bag, she endured the pain and took out a snow.white medicinal pill. She would fight to the last moment even if it was a beast trap. Pa, silk struck her right arm, and the pill was also shattered. Senior sister actually managed to concoct a profound ascension pill. Her talent is indeed astonishing, but junior sister will not give you the chance to consume it. Zi Ling quickly turned her head and shot a blade.like gaze at the smiling Guqin. Mysterious Ascension Pill Zi Xiao also didn't expect that Zi Ling would not only form a nascent soul at the age of a hundred, but also have such deep attainments in alchemy. A cold light flashed in her blurry eyes. This sovereign gave you a chance to be reincarnated. Since you refused, don't blame me for being merciless. The pressure from his soul suddenly increased dramatically. From his body to his soul, they were all suffering from the burning of oil. Ah, proud as she was, she could not hold on. She curled up into a ball and trembled. Even her cries of pain sounded weak. Chi, a long scar suddenly appeared on Su Bai's jade-like face. Taking advantage of her heavy injuries to launch a sneak attack, a flash of delight appeared in Feng Feiyun's eyes. Zi Xiao glanced at the Guqin, but did not make a sound to stop her. The Guqin seemed to be encouraged as she used her magic item to strike at Zi Ling again, even if she was only able to breathe for a short period of time, the pain still pierced his heart. However, she, Zi Ling, was not someone anyone could bully. A vicious light flashed across her eyes, 
with a loud bang, the two top quality spirit artifacts turned into ash and flew into the formation. My Chinkun Silk At the same time the Guchin cried out in heartache, the purple silk spat out a mouthful of blood, which dyed the ground red, the situation had already settled. Her soul had been weakly extracted and was on the verge of dissipating. He raised his head to look at his master, who had once held the most reverence in his heart. The other person was still in control of everything, and even the pink Guchin did not extend her hand to stop him, the archaic divine mountain was almost dead. She finally found the divine Martin's trace, and her joy at that time was even greater than when she formed her own nascent soul. When she heard that master's time was up, she resolutely abandoned the divine Martin that had been chasing her for a year. Who would have thought that what awaited him would be like this, from the inside to the outside, from the body to the soul, every inch of pain penetrated to the bone marrow, but it could not compare to the coldness in his heart. Facing the cold and cruel Zi Xiao, her gaze slowly became crazed as the flames of hatred continuously jumped about, the spiritual energy in her body surged. Amidst the pain, she let out a wild laugh, Zi Xiao felt her movements and his eyes changed. He shouted, You dare! Master understands me best, my pride will not be trampled upon unless I am willing to give my body to you. But right now, you are only my enemy, so why should I let you do as you wish? One after another, they became more and more solemn, her heart was crushed into ashes little by little, but being as proud as she was, she would never show any signs of grief in front of her enemies. Zi Zhao's expression changed drastically. He shot into the array like a meteor, but he was still late by an inch. Bang, the ethereal beauty turned into specks of colorful light in the blink of an eye. Damn it! The grand plan that he had planned for a hundred years was ruined. Zi Zhao's face was frighteningly dark. Master, since Zi Ling doesn't know what's good for her, her soul should be dispersed. Don't let her enter the cycle of reincarnation. The pink Guchin saw that purple lantern was in a rage, so she poured some oil on it. For such a big matter, even if my soul were to be destroyed, it would still be difficult to redeem myself. After saying that, she angrily raised her whisk. Pft, pft. The Samadhi true fire raged. Zi Xiao, you better burn me clean. Otherwise, even if I, Zi Ling were to go to heaven or hell, I will definitely seek your revenge. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.